everybody, welcome to the Epic Beauty Veil. I'm Jessica, and on today's video, we're going to be doing a Foundation of Friday video. Today, we're going to be doing the Lancome Skin Feels Good Octinoxate Sunscreen. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Broad Spectrum SPF 23, of all numbers, 23. Hydrating Skin Tint Healthy Glow. So, I do have this in the shade 10 Porcelain, and... I am going to be using this foundation today. Before we get started, uh, I wanted to let you know that I do have my own online clothing boutique. It is nimonies.com. The link is in the description bar down below. If you're curious, if not, that's okay too. We're uh, very soon going to be putting up some new spring items. So if you uh, don't like anything right now, maybe check back in a couple of weeks and we'll have some new things on the site. Um, also, if you like this video while you're watching, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and also the little bell to notify you when I upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. I do a foundation Friday every single Friday, as well as a lot of other fun beauty related types of topics, unboxings. I do, um, right now I'm going through a huge declutter series um, and just do a lot of different fun things. So uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Uh, all right. So before we go ahead and put this on my face, I'm going to go ahead to the Lancome website. I didn't realize how often I said, go ahead. I'm going to bring up the Lancome website and read you about the Skin Feels Good Skin Nourishing Foundation. So on Lancome website, it is retailed for $35. I got this at, I believe, Ulta. I picked it up at. So you can pick this up at Ulta. I'm pretty sure you can pick it up at Sephora as well. Um, let's read the information about this uh, foundation. So it says hydrating and oil-free foundation with SPF 23 that is infused with antioxidants is lightweight and ideal for that no makeup look. Not all foundations are created equal. From that no makeup look to buildable and baked, skin feels good is for everyone. Whether warm undertones, olive undertones, neutral undertones, or cool undertones, this foundation nourishes and protects. Containing SPF 23, it is enriched with moringa seed and hyaluronic acid. It locks in moisture moisture, is lightweight for all day hydration, and works to protect skin against free radicals and environmental pollute pollutants. Skin Feels Good's oil-free formula leaves facial skin feeling velvety smooth with a radiant glow. It will not clog pores. From normal to oily skin or combination to dry skin, Skin Feels Good is suitable for all skin types. Available in 11 shades. And I do have it in the lightest shade. I'm a little concerned it's not light enough for me. <laughs> I was going to pick up the one that was the... Uh, neutral I think there was a neutral undertone but that was deeper and in this already it looks like it's too deep so we're gonna go ahead in with 10 porcelain today on my face all right so I'm gonna be using a sponge on the left side of my face a brush on the right side of my face and potentially end up with the sponge all over because sometimes I do that to even out the finish I'm gonna shake this up just a second. Before I turned on the camera, I did spray my face down with the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I also used the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I know that this is supposed to be like a uh, skin tint rather than a foundation, but I do that with all of my foundations. Depending on how this feels on my skin, I may also do <laughs> powder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because that is very deep. I think you guys can see how deep that is on my hand. So yeah, I'm not leaving the house today. So it's fine. I do have mixers, but since I'm not leaving the house anyway, I'm not too concerned about the shade. Uh, my husband might look at me a little weird. I'm not planning on filming any other videos today while I have this on. So yeah, I might go out this evening, but if I do, I will uh, take this off first because I think we need to run to the grocery store for just a couple of things. Um, and we'll see. All right. I'm going to go in with 10 porcelain and this looks to me more like medium, like a medium shade. This is not a porcelain shade. Maybe it'll, maybe it, it won't be as bad once I blend it in and I got to be fair. All right, so it is a light coverage, which I personally like, and I don't think it's terrible. I'm gonna need more foundation on my hand though. Um, so it's not as bad as I was worried that it might be given the deepness of the shade, but we'll see. Cause it, it does actually blend in. It actually just gives me a little bit of 
more color. It looks like I might be a little bit tan is all. You can definitely cut, tell it against my neck and we'll see if it makes me look orange as the day goes on. But for now, it's not looking terrible as far as the shade goes. Hopefully it stays looking that way. Now that it's on my entire face, I'm not minding the shade. It definitely doesn't match. I brought it down my neck. You can see on my chest how different the shade is. But I did try to bring it down my neck a little bit. And, you know, it, like I said, I'm, I'm before I leave the house tonight, I will take this off. All right, let's look at the, the time. Um, I, put my, I put my phone away. It is 8.35. Let's go ahead and call 8.45 the check-in time. So I will check in at 12.45 and then again at 4.45 this afternoon. That is going to be when we do our midday and end of day check-ins. And then like I said, if I need to go out tonight, if I don't, then I won't go out. If I need to go out, I will take it off probably before I go out. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see how the rest of my makeup looks. If I'm having a good makeup day, maybe I'll just leave it on and I'll look darker. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I will see you guys back in just a second. Now, this is a little sticky. I'm going to let it sit for a second to see if it dries down. I'm probably going to powder it either way just because I always powder when I do foundation reviews um, unless it really doesn't need it. Um, it does have a little bit of scent. I don't think I mentioned that. It's not terrible. Like, it's not overwhelming, but there's definitely a slight scent to this product. So, all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead, not let us. I always say us. I feel like you're in the room with me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, it is 9.02, so it took me about 20-ish minutes to do my makeup. Let's talk about what all is on my face. I do have my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, concealer on my under eyes, just a couple of taps on my nose, a little bit on the center of my brows, and then some blemishes on my face. Um, my two physicians formula powders that I use in all my foundation reviews. This is the mineral face powder. This is the mineral correcting powder. And then, uh, bronzer is the balm. Take home the bronze just on my cheeks, a little bit on my brow line or my hairline, and then a little bit on my jawline. I'm using my Tarte Amazonian clay blush in party. Uh, just a pretty pink shade that I like. Then I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in Stunner. I really enjoy this highlighter. Um, smells vanilla chocolatey. Very, very good. They only have a few shades, but I do enjoy it. Um, I did spray my face down with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Um, my brows is the Brow Gal ta by Tanya Crooks, the pencil in medium brown. This is probably not the shade that I would have purchased if I had purchased it for myself. I did get this in a beauty box and I'm using it. I do like it. I like that it has a little sharpener on the end. It's got a spoolie on the other end. Um, but the, the cap for it is, has the sharpener already in it, which is nice. Um, and it's not terribly off of my natural hair color, which is growing out significantly. All right. On my eyelids, I have my Mac Painterly Paint Pot. I'm using my Benefit Roller Lash. That one I need to get rid of. It started to get a little bit clumpy. On my lips, I have this Kevin Aquan, the Sensual Lip Stain in Facon. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. And then my lids, I have the uh, Audacity in Paris. This is a Lancome palette. Um, I used this shade right here. It does have names on it, but I don't know which shade is which. So I'm just going to point them out. I used this shade all over the lid. I used this shade in my inner corner, the brown in my crease and along my under eye. This purpley tone right here is all over the lid. And then this shade is on top of that all over the lid. And I think that is it. Yes, that is it. So that I believe is everything that is on my face today. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Beats the heck out of me. All right. I'm going to zoom you in and we can talk about the foundation. Looking at this in the mirror, uh, got a little bit of a mascara flake. Like I said, that one needs to go. Anyway, looking in the mirror, I think it's looking really pretty. My chin looks okay. My face looks really, really nice. Even my forehead, it's only slightly in my line right now. Um, I got a little bit of foundation in my hairline, so that's fun. Um... Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this. I think it's really looking very, very pretty on my face. 
Um, I don't think it's too deep into any of my imperfections. I've got a lot of mascara flakes on my face. I'm sorry. I'm getting very distracted by that. Um, overall, it looks good on my nose. It looks good on my forehead. It looks good on my face. Probably my biggest complaint is the shade. And this is the lightest shade that they have. But even with the lightest shade, it's still not quite light enough for me. But that's okay. I am pale as a ghost. <laughs> so... Uh, I've been meaning to try self-tanning, so maybe I'll be doing that soon. I don't know. It's coming up on summer, but then none of my foundations will match. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Where we're at half an hour in, I'm liking it a lot, actually. I'm really enjoying the way it's looking on my face. This might be a good shade for the summer for me. Not that I ever deepen up in my skin tone like at all, but... Nonetheless, it might be something good to wear in the summer because it's nice and lightweight. I could put it on without anything else and I think it would look very, very pretty. So that's where we're at at nine o'clock in the morning. I will check in at 12.45 and then again at 4.45 this afternoon. I will see you guys then. All right, you guys, it is, I'm just a couple minutes early. It is 12.33. So I'm just like 10 minutes early, right? Yeah, like 10 minutes early. I'm standing inside because it is cold outside. It is super windy today. And although it's not like temperature cold, because it's so windy, it is cold. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what my face looks like four hours in. And then we will talk about it. I did look in the mirror already to see what I thought. But I want to show you what it kind of looks like. And then we will talk about it. I'll show you my nose. I think I might be the only person who um, does foundation reviews that gets you quite that close. Is that uncomfortable? Let me know in the comment section down below if it's uncomfortable. And I'll stop showing it that closely. But I figured if you wanted to see how it really looks, I could show you every single pore of my face. All right, let's talk about the foundation. Um, I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> I think it actually looks really nice right now. I think it looks pretty good on my chin. I mean, it is cracked a little bit on my chin. But only when I like really protrude my chin. You know what I mean? I think it looks good on my forehead. I think it looks good on my nose. I think it looks good on my cheeks. The only way that it looks kind of even slightly bad is when I really like look like really close and move my face around so that you can really see like the cracks or imperfections on my face. Um, other than that, I think it looks really, really good right now. So I'm actually really impressed with this other than the shade. Um, but even the shade doesn't look terrible. I mean, I'm in the window. I'm in natural light. I'm not in direct sunlight, obviously, but I am, you know, in natural lighting right now. And I think it actually looks pretty good. It's a little bit deep, obviously, if you look at my, my collar versus my neck, um, it is definitely a little bit deep, but I could wear like a regular size t-shirt. This is a v-neck, so it's giving a little bit more of my collarbone. Um, but if I wore like just a regular t-shirt, you wouldn't be able to see that. So overall, four hours in, I'm actually really impressed. I think this is looking really nice. So I will see you all in about another four hours. All right, you guys, I am back. It is, I don't even know what time it is. It is, come on. Can you see? 5.32. So I'm almost an hour late with this. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about this foundation. I was looking in the mirror before I turned the camera on and I mean, yes, the shade is a little bit dark. We talked about that earlier today. I'm just going to bring my collar up so you can't even really tell that. Um, I'm shiny. I just am. I'm shiny and that's okay. I do often get shiny by like the end of the evening and I am definitely shiny right now. Um, I am going to try to put a little bit of powder on my face though and see if that helps. I'm not going to do it right now at this moment, but I did get a box in the mail today. One of my um, beauty boxes in the mail and I want to film that before I take my makeup off because I don't want to take my makeup off, just put more makeup back on and just to take it back off again. So I do want to film that before I um, take this makeup off, which I am going to do as soon as that video is done uh, because I am starting to get a little bit of itchies. Um, does that make sense? Certain spots on my face are getting a little itchy. Now, I think that's just because of my oils coming through and the foundation, you know, being on for so long. Um, I think it looks pretty. I do. I'm not going to lie. I think this looks pretty, even though I'm a little oily, which I did already touch on. I think it looks pretty. I think it looks nice on my forehead. I think it looks nice on my cheeks and my nose. I even think it looks nice on my, my chin. 
which if you're new to my channel is a problem area for me. It's a major problem area for me, but I think it looks nice. Like, I can't explain it. Like, it doesn't, maybe it's because it's a lighter weight foundation. They call it a skin tint. They also call it a foundation. Maybe that's why it looks so nice, but I think it really does look nice. It's not like caked up in my nose creases. It's, it just looks really, really nice after nine, almost nine hours of wear. You know what I mean? So I don't know what you guys think. I think it looks nice at the end of the day. It again is the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Skin Tint Healthy Glow. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about it. I think it looks nice. Now it is, like I said, a little bit dark for me. I could potentially add a, uh, a lightener to it to lighten it up a little bit. Do I think it's so bad that it looks totally crazy on my skin? No. So would I wear this again? Yes. Is it my favorite foundation in the world? No, but I would wear it again. I mean, I definitely think it doesn't look bad. I think it actually looks fairly nice and but I like like a lighter lighter foundation I like um you know I don't mind looking this dewy at the end of the day it might be a little bit more than I normally would prefer but I don't think it looks bad um long story short I think it looks nice that's it for the review of the Lancome Skin Feels Good Skin Tint. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below as well. Uh, I love to hear anything you guys want to share with me. So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope to see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye.